Welcome to Tour Confidential on Golf.com. I'm Peter Bukowski. For SI.com, I'm Peter Bukowski here at the draft with Andrew Perloff. Jordan Spieth dumps rule makers, not golf courses. Hannah Jang blows away the field, then does her best Beyonce. We're here at Chelsea Piers in New York City for the NFL's Play 60 event, where a group of NFL prospects are blowing off some steam with some Harlem school children. And you know about Tiger Woods back swinging a club, but the first swing at his new golf course made headlines, only he wasn't the one making it. Hall of Fame linebacker Harry Carson took a hard-hitting stance on football, admitting he would not have played if he knew about the long-term health dangers that are associated with the sport. The Olympics were a success by almost any measure. Gold medals for Justin Rose, gold medals for Inby Park. Will we see the big-name players in Tokyo that we didn't have in Rio? We talked about the quarterbacks. There were quarterbacks that weren't picked that we thought might go in the first round. Houston now on the clock with their pick of the quarterbacks that are left. The European Tour Pro Yost Lauten had some fun around the house draining putts with, well, watch. <laughs> that has to be bad luck, right? But Lauten wasn't done there. This is. Well, I'm not really sure what this is, but apparently Yost can make a putt with it. This one, this one, this one, this one. <laughs> You're now caught up on the latest from around the web and the course. The top eight on the Ryder Cup U.S. team has been set. We're looking for four more men to join Davis Love's team. Give me a wild card. I would look at Justin Thomas. We could have more rookies on the team, and maybe that brings a little bit of a different kind of feel. You know, this is going to be Phil's 11th Ryder Cup team. Jordan is so meticulous. He, he grinds over every shot like it is the 18th hole at a major. And I think that can, that can wear on you over the course of 18 holes, over the course of four rounds at a major, especially with the conditions playing the way that they were at Augusta. Jim Harbaugh's last season as a player in the NFL was 2001. But that didn't stop Jim Harbaugh, the coach, from buttoning his chin strap and suiting up every so often. Former 49ers player Delaney Walker told the Tennessean Harbaugh once donned full pads and practiced with the team. He dressed up in full gear and practiced the whole practice. Pads, helmets, everything on. He had the whole uniform on, Walker said of Harbaugh. We came out and said, who is that dude out there? And it was Jim Harbaugh. He had some old high top cleats on. Harbaugh, former QB in the league for 14 seasons, was seen at a football camp in Alabama earlier this month shirtless and was sporting the recently fashionable dad bod, showing that it's been a solid 14 years since he officially suited up. Harbaugh, of course, had to keep on his signature khakis. After playing 16 grueling holes on a par 70 course that can stretch well over 7,300 yards, the last thing you want to do is finish with two par fives. One riddled with danger and marathon in length, the other dripping with history where scoring chances abound. Consider the 649-yard 17th, the second longest hole in major championship golf history, with a bunker complex running through the middle, aptly nicknamed the Sahara Bunkers. Miss your tee shot left or right and risk having to navigate them on a layup. Just one man coming into the week at Baltusrol had ever hit the green in two, Long John Daly. That streak came to an end this week, but when par fives, even long ones, usually have pros licking their chops, the 17th at Balti usually leaves pros with their tails between their legs. It's not every day you walk off the green of a brutally long par five and immediately step onto the tee box of another par five, this one eminently gettable, but imminently dangerous with water left and plenty of trouble around an elevated green. The 18th is where Jack Nicholas hit the most famous shot in Baltus Roll history, a one iron into the green that gave him a birdie putt to set the U.S. Open scoring record. Phil Mickelson's clutch putt on 18 gave him the Wanamaker Trophy in 2005. The final holes at any major championship offer drama, but these two par fives with their risks and potential rewards offer perhaps the most unique finishing stretch anywhere. From Baltus Roll, I'm Peter Bukowski for Sports Illustrated and Golf.com.